Our study investigated the link between inflammation and sympathetic activity. We used renal denervation as a unique opportunity, allowing to modulate the sympathetic activation status, and then assess how this influences monocyte activation as well as other inflammatory markers in hypertensive patients. Here, we found renal denervation induced inhibition of sympathetic activity is associated with an improved blood pressure control and attenuate monocyte activation and systemic inflammation in hypertensive patients. We use three important methods in this study. Firstly, the renal denervation procedure was performed in hypertensive patients using a radiofrequency ablation catheter, which was shown to lower blood pressure by reducing sympathetic activity. Secondly, we assessed the sympathetic outflow to the periphery by recording multi-unit muscle sympathetic nerve activity from postganglionic sympathetic nerves using microneurography to measure real-time sympathetic nerve activity. Lastly, using a single-chain antibody MAN1, which was generated by our lab, we measured the activation status of monocytes. The single-chain antibody specifically detects monocyte activation by binding to the activated conformation of integrin MAC1 during monocyte activation. Using this diagnostic tool, together with a measurement of monocyte platelet aggregates and other inflammatory markers, we measured monocyte activation and systemic inflammation at baseline three months and six months after renal denervation in patients with high blood pressure. In this study, we learned that modulation of sympathetic activation via renal denervation is associated with improved blood pressure and importantly also attenuates monocyte activation status thereby targeting two mechanisms relevant for cardiovascular risk. Our findings demonstrate intricate link between the sympathetic nervous and immune system that can be targeted therapeutically and is likely to confer cardiovascular risk reduction.